Until 2018, China required foreign car makers to link up with domestic ones to manufacture in the country and avoid a 25% import duty. Tesla was the first foreign company to take advantage of China's new rule, which allowed foreigners to produce vehicles in the country without a Chinese partner and build its Gigafactory 3, Shanghai, in just 168 working days to go from permits to a finished plant. I mean, this is quite fast even by Chinese standards. And to put things into perspective, it took twice as long for Tesla's Gigafactory, Nevada, to begin turning out batteries. The company believes China will be its strongest Model 3 market. Unlike most one-off building projects, Tesla has developed a clear template for its Gigafactories. It knows what it needs and what will work best for its business, and it isn't reinventing the wheel each time. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how Tesla built Giga Shanghai at such an incredible speed and what was at stake if they did not do it. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for exciting videos on innovative technology and Tesla. Thank you. Tesla kicked off its production in China, marking a major step in Elon Musk's global push for electric vehicle domination and signaling what could be the dawn of real competition in the world's largest EV market. Local production would help Elon Musk build on recent momentum for the company in the country, which is also the world's largest vehicle market. Tesla is looking to price competitive with the local manufacturers such as NEOs and Xpeng Motors, while undercutting global giants such as BMW AG and Daimler AG. Construction started on Tesla's $2 billion facility in Shanghai, where it planned to commence production of the Model 3 and the Y electric cars from 2020. At a ceremony attended by local and government authorities, Elon Musk stated that the new facility should be operating by 2020 and with a factory capacity of over 500,000 vehicles per year. Gigafactory 3 is Tesla's first manufacturing facility in China and is also the first electric vehicle factory wholly owned by a foreign automaker. As the trade war between China and the US kept getting more complicated, it was becoming more important than ever for Tesla to have manufacturing capacity in China. So as to avoid increasingly uncertain import tariffs in the biggest auto market in the world. In order to strengthen their position in a crowded Chinese automotive market, a new company, Tesla Shanghai Co. LTD, set up with around 11.6 million, focusing on technical development, technical services, technology transfer in the field of electric vehicles, batteries, and energy storage equipment. The Shanghai Municipal Government approved the agreement to build the production facility in July 2018, and a long-term lease was signed for about 86 hectares of land in October 2018. The Shanghai Mayor Ying Yang visited the site on the 5th of December, and a construction permit was granted by the Municipal Government authorizing work to begin after the 29th of December 2018 with the installation of secure fencing and site offices. On the 7th of January 2019, the groundbreaking ceremony was held and by March, the foundation work in some areas of the large facility was in place and structure was being erected, the crews operating at the site on multiple shifts to accelerate construction. By early August of 2019, the building exteriors were nearly complete and the General Assembly building was being fitted with manufacturing equipment for both batteries and automobiles, with a target to begin production in November. The plant received its comprehensive acceptance certificate on the 19th of August. In their third quarterly investor call on the 23rd of October 2019, Tesla reported that it was ahead of schedule with getting the factory into production. Moreover, it was built in just 10 months, was ready for production, and was built for approximately 65% less capital expenditure per unit of manufacturing capacity than that had been for Model 3 production system in the U.S. 
Tesla was able to achieve a production rate of about 280 cars a day, or almost 2,000 a week in December 2019. So the Chinese plant, which was completed in record time as it sped through approvals and construction, representing a cornerstone of Musk's plants to make Tesla a truly global car maker. Throughout the construction period in China, Tesla had been winning various concessions from local authorities ranging from approvals to preferential loans, all the more notable given to the trade war with the U.S. Various government officials, including Mayor Ying Yong and Zhu Xingsong, Deputy Secretary General of the Shanghai Municipal Government, were among the dignitaries attending the launch event, with Vice Mayor Wu Qing saying at the event that no foreign company had invested in a bigger manufacturing facility in the country. Additionally, the local built car was included on a list of vehicles qualifying for an exemption from a 10% purchase tax in China. It also qualified for a government subsidy of 24,750 yuan. The subsidies have helped Tesla cut prices with the company being able to reduce the starting price of the Model 3 by a further 9% after subsidies. Prices could go down further as people familiar with the matter have said Tesla is considering further lowering of the prices of the sedans by using more local components and reduced costs. About 30% of the parts now used by the Shanghai facility are sourced locally and the company plans to increase that to 100%. Those prices put Tesla closer to some models from domestic EV makers, such as Xpeng Motors' latest P7 sedan and the Neo's SUVs. To sum it up, so far so good as it all seems to be paying off, but it remains to be seen whether Tesla can capitalize on its winning streak to conquer the Chinese market. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting content from the channel. Thank you.